Hi, right, so I have a, a paper here. It's a regular paper. It's uh, from a sketchbook. It's very cheap. And uh, I have this soft charcoal here I'm going to use. And let's start draw this landscape. All right. So, first thing is we have to know you know, there are many things in, in a drawing that you need to get right, which is, uh, it, uh, drawing includes many things, like soft edges, values, and also uh, shapes. And then, of course, there's a composition, there's a perspective, but if you get a couple of these right, you can't get away with the poor or weak uh, other stuff. So, like you can notice the wrong uh, proportions of shapes before you notice a bad uh, composition. So, when it comes into value, we have to understand uh, which one, which area is dark, which one is light which one is lighter, which one is the lightest, which one is the darkest, and that would actually give us uh, a correct depth to the drawing. So, landscape here is the, the front foreground is darker, but I'm gonna darken the rest of the paper so I put the masking tape you know around so this one when you remove it is gonna clean you know create a clean drawing you can make a print out of it and you sell it or you sell the artwork itself after you put you know use fixative so it doesn't smear everywhere so I'm just uh, trying to cover a certain value. Here, using a paper towel. Let's see, if that gives us a light tone. Okay. And horizon line. It's okay. Yes, it's, it's okay. Everything's it can be corrected. Now now notice like this is too light. So we're gonna add more to it. Oops, it's always like a dropping the charcoal. A little bit darker. So uh, now for the drawing the clouds, it, it doesn't have to be exactly as what you see in your reference. But it's okay to get a, a general shape of it because if you mess up the shape of the cloud, it really is not, you're not drawing eyes. And, uh, you know, one eighth of an inch of it's wrong is going to cause a problem to the face because it's just clouds. All about it. Clouds, it's a important part of it, is actually values and edges. Okay, this is some area here. This is a, there are hills. 
squint to get the values right forget about the details in the beginning you don't need to focus on them really not that important but later you can add them adding more here because I see it's still still light you have to trust the process and continue doing even if it's, this doesn't mean anything but don't stop just continue things will come up of the paper. Now get the paper towel. I don't want this video to be super long but I'm gonna try to achieve a certain level of completion here. All right. So there's a uh, light areas for the for the clouds. I don't want to erase now because the strongest light is going to be here in this area and I want to use the eraser for it. These are the hills on the top in the back. Is the front is darker than the the rest. And leave that texture to give it more like a ground texture. You don't need it to be super flat. There's lighter areas here. I'm just tapping a little bit. I don't want to remove a lot. darker so 
So about the values. If this is darker, this should be a little bit lighter because it's it's far. I use a brush and soften some edges here. Here should be darker too, a little bit. Start with the clouds on the on the top here. I'm gonna make a a little tip you're using. The paper towel. I'm not erasing anything now, but I'll do it later. Just try to locate the lower value areas. the brush starts off in this edge here I need to darken that corner You, you can see here that this value it's lower than this and this one is lower than this and that's what differentiate the depth and isolate the areas behind the foreground this is the foreground here it should be darker because it's close to us and the further areas should be lighter so I'm just removing here behind it. As you can see, there is a hill behind this area here, which is in front of us. to add some dark details here I'm gonna add some like very
small trees and making a small to show the scale of the rest of the landscape as big. Just a suggestion. You don't need to make it super detailed. some edges to see the, the effect of it. Now we're going to use the fun part using the eraser. Just tapping. Like here, it's beautiful. And if you see it and you like it, don't touch it anymore. That's it. side also the light comes this way so it will reflect that light and I like to keep it a little bit dramatic Now we use uh, the pencil eraser to really get to the lower values, which is here a strong light. And of course I can take my time and spend more time on this to uh, make it better, prettier but this video is to get you started with something
just going to add in some texture here. And also remove some of the the dark value so I can see the hill. In the back. Now let's add a little bit stronger light here. Add a little bit, remove some of it, some of the charcoal because you don't want it to be flat when, uh, when value. You have to give it a little bit of variety. See here, so you have sharp edge, soft edge, dark, lighter, lighter value. It's all, it's all, it's all that, a mixture of, of everything to create that harmony. Some I left it as sharp and some I removed it. Okay, let's uh, add a little bit here. Some light beams, maybe that's too much. Oh, see this, how bad this is? when you add a very light uh, value in the middle of a dark value that shouldn't be so we're gonna correct it that's it
you see, if you see this uh, area here, it's just a variety of things together. It just created beautifully. Now, now this area is a flat here because it's like one value I'm gonna add. some lighter values it's okay you can't leave it now you can't leave it All right so uh, that's enough for a short time So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.